we're going to use our second domain rule for this question. Our two domain rules don't take even roots of negatives, there's no roots here, and don't divide by zero, which we are definitely dividing here, and it's possible we could be dividing by zero. I'm going to intentionally write in red, because unlike last time, this time we're looking for bad x's. Uh, this may or may not be something you've done before. Uh, lots of us have found some bad x's, but what we're going to do is intentionally look for them. So I'm going to intentionally set my denominator equal to zero. And we're going to figure out what x values make it zero. When we're done, our answer is going to be all x values that are not bad. Uh, so we're going to find some bad x values. I'm expecting a maximum of two numbers here. And then we're going to say the domain is all numbers that are not these. All right, how to solve. Lots of ways to solve quadratics. Anytime there's a 1 in front of my x squared term and my uh, x coefficient is even, I'm going to use complete the square. So let me write complete the square over here. So complete the square. Whenever you see x squared plus bx, you can rewrite that as x plus b over 2 squared minus the same b over 2 squared. So we're going to use this complete the square here. And if you notice, what is, what's actually happening, x appeared twice and on the left in the original and then x appears once on the right. So we're going to go from x having, or basically two different x's to just a single x. All right, so let's go ahead and do that here. So for us, our b is 12. And our b over 2 is positive 6. So I have x plus b over 2, x plus 6 squared minus b over 2, another 6, squared. That right there is exactly what's on the right side here. All I did, b over 2, is 6. That's the only thing that is different. And let's go ahead. Uh, x appears one time now, and I forgot my plus 27. That's important. Uh, 6 squared is 36. So we minus 36 plus 27. You might be tempted to FOIL, but just to warn you, if you FOIL, x is going to appear twice, and you're going to be back up where you started on the top line. So remember, we want x by itself with no friends. Minus 36 plus 27 is minus 9. Now we're going to add 9 to the other side. And x has two friends, got a 6 and a 2. Who goes first? Order of operation says do the outermost first. So we're going to unsquare, also known as a square root. Do not forget there's a plus or minus here. Square root 9 is 3. X has one friend left. We're going to bring this friend to the other side. And you're going to do so by subtracting 6. All right, so we have negative 6 plus or minus 3 equals x. So there are two solutions here. You're saying them correctly. Negative 6 plus 3 equals x or negative 6 minus 3 equals x. All right, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. All right, these are bad x values. Bad x values. We got negative 3 and oops, negative 9 is to the left of negative 3. All right, let's go ahead and switch back to the black marker. I'm going to diagram all the numbers that are not negative 9 and not negative 3. You're going to get three pieces. A good way to think about this, if you start with a, a 
piece of a carrot or a piece of celery and you cut it two times, you're gonna end up with three pieces. So that's a good visualization for what's happening here. Now we just have to give these names. So our left interval goes negative infinity, negative nine. Our middle interval goes negative nine, negative three. These are open. You do not want to include negative nine and not include negative three. So that will be your answer for what are the good x values. Again, I color coordinated this, so all the bad ones are all the bad stuff's in red, good stuff's in black. All right, so we took all all that work to get the bad ones and wrote down everything that was not bad. One more comment on solving this quadratic. This is a quadratic equation, so the quadratic formula will work. Uh, also, you could factor and get lucky. We had nice factors, so you may have seen negative nine, negative three uh, factoring out of this right away. It's up to you how you want to solve it.